good morning guys so it is six o'clock a.m and i'm sitting in my car because we are about to go on a road trip So I thought since I'm driving anyway, I might as well share some tips and tricks with you guys um, for having a comfortable road trip or like road trip essentials. So hopefully you like this video and I know like spring break is coming up and then we're gonna have summer and I know there's tons of places to see. So hopefully this video can kind of help you if you plan on traveling. Okay, so the first and probably most important thing to have during a road trip is a comfortable, comfortable outfit. <laughs> Okay guys, so the outfit is just a hat, an Adidas hat, because Lord knows road trips are always like messing with my hair, whether it's like me falling asleep in the car, or like rolling down the windows, or just like the stops in between while you're driving, um, my hair just gets put through it. So I always usually have a hat, and then I'm just wearing like a comfy, oversized sweater. Then I just have on some leggings and some used to be white shoes but um these are really easy to just like slip on and off so that's why i put those on okay the second thing is snacks so of course i went to target and i picked up some snacks okay so the first thing i got is some water because stay hydrated i should have gotten another one but i guess i can always like stop for another one and i'm only gonna be on like a three and a half hour road trip so i don't need a ton of snacks but I did get these two things. Okay, so one is, it's the Simply Balanced, which I think is, is this a Target brand? I don't know. But it's dark chocolate banana chips, and they look like this, and I really love dark chocolate, and I love bananas, so this is so good. I've never tried these, but I just wanna like try one. These, okay, so they kinda don't look very appetizing, but. Oh my god. These are like a 10 out of 10. And then I also got some um, cinnamon apple slices from the same brand. So these two, I'll probably have like one on the way and like one on the way back. I don't know. So definitely, definitely always have snacks with you. Okay, and number three on the list is you have to have a ready to go and fire AF playlist, you guys. Like, music makes time go by so fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip right here of what my road trip essentials playlist looks like. Also, you guys, if you're going on kind of a long haul or any road trip in general, you obviously need gas. So what I would suggest doing, especially if you're going somewhere that you've never been before, like never driven to, is downloading a gas app. So the one I use, I think it's called Gas Buddy. I'll put it right here on the screen. But basically what it does is it just lets you know a list of gas stations near you or on the way to where you're going. And it tells you the prices of each one. So you can choose, depending on what type of gas you use, you can like filter it too depending on what type of gas you use it lets you know the price for that gas um at each station so let's say one is less expensive than the other you know okay it's only like two more miles so you can kind of like plan it out but yeah this is the one i use i'm sure there's a lot more that do the same thing um so check them out it's just a good thing to kind of have all right guys so the next thing you want to consider is cleanup so we're gonna have snacks and that means snack bags and trash and all of that so you want to make sure that you have a trash bag because if not, girl, your car is going to be messed up. And I don't know about you, but I can't be having trash everywhere. My car gives me like mad OCD. So um, make sure you have a trash bag. Also, other things to keep in mind for cleanup are like hand sanitizer, some wipes. Um, I have it all in my bag and I don't feel like taking it out, but I'll pop them up on the screen so you can see them. But you always want to make sure you have a pair of sunglasses with you, especially if you're the one driving because the sun on the road can be super like bright and blinding. All right, guys. So that was pretty much it for my tips and tricks on how to have a comfortable road trip. Also, keep in mind, this is for like a shorter road trip. Again, I'm only going about... 230 miles it's like three and a half hours so it's not super long but it's just enough to keep you comfortable so if you're making the same kind of trip i hope this video was helpful all right guys i gotta get going but before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you liked it or found it helpful also don't forget to turn on those um, bell notifications right next to the subscribe button there's a little bell if you hit it youtube will notify you every time i upload if you're subscribed you'll see my uploads but if you hit that notification bell it'll actually send you a notification 
notification to your phone so don't forget to hit that and comment down below if you guys have any suggestions for future videos i'm always open to new ideas so yeah i think that's all i have to say i hope that you are having a great day or a great night or whatever time of day it is that you're watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye